God was with them. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated, untrained men, they marvelled. And they realised that they had been with Jesus. Acts 4, 13. Acts 4, as Peter and John stood waiting for judgment to be pronounced, the man who had just been healed stood alongside them. There in flesh and blood was living proof that Peter and John had been with Jesus. Now, as the synagogue rulers looked on, seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. That's verse 14. <laughs> what did Peter and John do when they were released from their accusers? They went to their own companions and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. Verse 23. The saints in Jerusalem rejoiced with the two disciples. They prayed. Now, Lord, look on their threats. Grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word. That was their prayer. By stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Verse 29 to 30. This can apply today as well. These believers were praying, God, thank you for the boldness you have given our brothers. Help us all to speak with holy boldness and provide visible evidence that you are with us. No doubt Peter and John had seen the look of resignation on the high priest's face when he realised that they had been with Jesus. Peter must have winked at John and said, if they only knew, they only remember that we were with Jesus weeks ago, but we were with him also in the upper room. And again this morning, as we prayed in our cell, as soon as we get out of here, we're going to meet him again. This is what happens with men and women who spend time with Jesus. When they come away from their time with Christ, it is clear to all that he is with them wherever they go. Because they carry the presence of God with them. So should we.